the walk starts to the west of Dorking at Parkland known as the Narra. After the wooded section of the Narra, the walk goes along this tarmac road. After the tarmac lane, the walk goes along this enclosed path down to another tarmac lane. Now along this tarmac lane, the walk then turns right across this bridge, past these quaint cottages, and then up a path which eventually leads behind the backs of houses. Now on the path that runs behind the backs of the houses. Entering another path that descends to the A25. As you can see, we're following part of the Green Sand Way. Near where the path joins the A25, there's this sandstone pit. The A25, the walk follows a lane to this idyllic spot. Clip. The walk goes along this bridleway. Now with decent views, the walk comes to this junction. It goes over that stile, taking the right fork and proceeds very steeply uphill. Here's part of the steep uphill climb. Coming to the end of the steep uphill climb. Now starting on the path that leads to Broadmoor Village. The path descends and becomes sunken. Even after a long spell of dry weather, it's still damp down here. Further along the sunken track. Past the staircase of fish ponds, the path proceeds towards Broadmoor Village. Here are some of the views around here. The walk passes this waterfall. There's the path leading away from Broadmoor Village. And here's the view back down the road of the village. Further along the path that leads away from Broadmoor Village.
the walk joins, joins this wider track and then leads off to the left here. The walk passes a gate with these strange symbols. Here's one, and here's the other one. Here's a fork in the path. We take the left-hand path, which leads to the summit of Leith Hill in about three quarters of a mile. There's Leith Hill Tower. Leith Hill at 985 feet is the highest point in South East England. Some of the views from the top of Leith Hill. Here's the tea place at Leith Hill. That is the route we'll be taking from Leith Hill to go back to Walsalking. Cockshot Hollow. After a short descent from Leith Hill, a path has now been laid through this, as you can see. Now through the woods of the Duke's Warren towards Cold Harbour Village. A steep dip in the path on the way to Cold Harbour Village. The views open up on the way to Cold Harbour Village. Now at Cold Harbour Village. Do you like the rainbow on the door? Great view across to the North Downs from the road. Now in Redlands Wood. The walk passes this trick point. The walk turns left here, down to the road, and there is then a long half mile trudge along the road, which is the worst part of the whole walk. Now off the road and down the track to Chedhurst Farm. Here the walk turns right for the final stretch back to the Noah and into Dorking. Across this field, and along a track and we will be almost near the tarmac lane that leads to the Noah and the end of the walk. And here we are back at the foot of the Noah and the end of the walk. All that remains now is to walk through Dorking Town back to the station. <laughs>